Alright guys, I have absolutely no idea why I'm doing this, but it's beta again. They got a second game, actually they got a few more. After Super Tanuki Skin Game, whatever the name it's called, they now have Pokemon Black and Blue. Probably related to the release of Black and White too. The motto here is gotta free them all instead of gotta catch them all. I guess they're friends with Team Plasma for some reason. Let's see what this is. As battling Pokemon grew in popularity, generations of children were growing up believing that Pokemon exist for no other reasons than to be used and abused by humans. Children learned about dominance instead of compassion. While Pokemon faced the worst abuses, children also started bullying each other. Until one Pokemon decided he had enough. You've escaped from your trainer, get ready to fight. I must say I like the music for battles, but... Anyways, how to play? Select fight or change Pokemon. Use attack to exploit the trainer's weaknesses. Defeat all the trainers to free all Pokemon. So we got fighting Pokemon, but we don't have any Pokemon in our party, so let's start with the fight. So we got Quick Attack, Thundershock, Gruhug, and Protest. I'm gonna give him a hug, because that's totally Mally. <laughs> what the heck? I smothered their chair with a loving embrace. Defense down. Choke Collar? Whoa, whoa. Dude. He spiked me. Ow, am I hurt? You know what? I'm gonna do Quick Attack. Why not? Oh, that dude, that's good damage. But I'm still trapped, so it hurts. Discipline. <laughs> he just smacked me with a baseball bat. Are you serious? Ah, another quick attack. Because if I just quick attack him twice and this guy three times, I should be fine. He's gonna do discipline. He's gonna whack me again. Because why not? Another quick attack. And Sharon, I guess, is done. He looks kinda. Yeah. Pokemon are not yours to be abused, Jaren, but you exist for our own reasons. But you're just a Pokemon, this is what you're bred to do. Oh, come on, even you'll know what a weak argument that is. Well, my other Pokemon doesn't want freedom. She's well behaved Pokemon, she likes to fight and remain cage up in her Pokemon all the time. She doesn't even complain when I don't have time to walk her. This is what makes her happy after all. If you believe that, give her the choice. Fine. Tepic? Tepic joins the party. What? But I'm the one who feeds you. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Jaren fainted. What's this Pokemon's nickname? Um, uh, I'm gonna name him Slumdog. Cause why not? Even though it's big. Let's get going, Pikachu. I haven't had a good walk in a long time. So we're walking as a nurse. Oh dear. I hear what you said to Jaren. I want to help you. As a nurse, I've seen how Mr. and Explorer Pokemon are gay. Like all things you feel like being, Spooky almost surely suffer terribly when they are cut up in experiments or forced to fight. I can no longer look into the eyes that the Pokemon brought me to be patched up because when I do, all I see is their suffering and I imagine the strength of their desire to be free from human exploitation. I don't know any humans spread their thoughts for our feelings and experience. There are some of us who do, but if we work together there can be more. Here's a treasure chest that I think you should have. I think if you can share what's in here with all of the Nova people will begin to understand that Pokemon exists for their own reasons. I'll go over and recruit more people to help you. Good luck. Let's see what's in the chest. I found the chest. There's a video inside. Well, if you want to watch it, go ahead, but it's like a video for a beta, so I'm gonna skip it. If we can get this to the global terminal, we can share it with all of you, Nova. Let's do it. And... Professor Juniper appears. With needles. I heard about what you did to Jaren. You Pokemon are up to no good, and I've come to stop you. Professor Juniper, how can you do this? As a scientist who study Pokemon, you should know better than anyone else. That there is strong evidence that Pokemon feel pain just as humans do. It's not about what Pokemon feel. Humans are more and more important. Let's end this right now. Um, okay, uh-huh. You can get a hug from me and help you calm down a bit more, please. Um, defense down. Perfume pulse. What the hell? Gonna spray me? You can just accurate as well. Well, in that case, let's set a slum dog. Go, slum dog! Ow! Did she just saw some needles? Dang, that's a mess. Petition and shame. You know what? Let me just use hammer. Whoa, whoa! That does a lot of damage. It's super effective. And she's gonna die second again, that will hurt. But that does a lot of damage, you know? Here, take another ember. And there goes Juniper, that was easy. Welcome to the experiment on Professor Juniper, we exist for our own reasons, Louise, our friend. 
<laughs> Maybe you are right. I can see now how strongly you believe. I didn't think Pokemon was as strong as ours. I need to think it over. But in the meantime, I, th I agree. It'd be best if you took my Pokemon. Snivy joins the party. Whoa. Well, only non one name for a plant with a needle. Druggy. Druggy, join us on our mission to spread the word about how Pokemon want to be treated. So you're saying Diglett's mouth is a nose? Hey, look, it's another treasure chest. Or I should say, it's another treasure chest. I hope it doesn't have another sad video on it. There's only one way to find out. Let's see. I heard you like Mudkips. Mudkip. I like all Pokemon. Do you like Mudkips? Honestly, they can be very annoying at times, but I believe all Pokemon should be treated with respect, even Mudkips. <laughs> Mudkips bear gifts. The Mudkip gives you a Pokemon Black and Blue desktop wallpaper. If you want it, you can download it, but once again, I'll skip it. We'll keep going now. A wild Snorlax appears. No, seriously, we're moving on. <laughs> I like that one. A formula foe gets his appears. I think that's far enough, slum dog. Gets his! I thought you supported Pokemon Liberation. I don't want Pokemon freed, I want to control them. Didn't you finish the last game? It was a whole twist to the ending, it was great. Well, up until I was defeated by a kid. Despite my initial failure, I've decided to expand my ambition in the most logical way. I've been working on a business plan to use the skins and meat of worn out Pokemon to clothe and feed Unova. No longer will use the Pokemon go to waste. You'll make a beautiful goat slime dog. Okay, that's kinda... <laughs> Let's see what a petition does, actually. Take that! Hmm. Oh. Ouch. Whoa, 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 that hurts. Uh, Pikachu, go! It's a drop! Oh no. Well, oh, that's fine. I want a bear trap even. Well, oh. I'll give you a hug too. Yeah. Defense down, that's all. I'm so trapped. Hope I'm not gonna be killed, but I might be because it's Electric Ocean. Oh no, Pikachu's down. Well, Druggy, go! What can I do, actually? Bullhorn Educate. I'm. I don't even know. I'm gonna go for a Mega Dragon. Because why not? Well, that's decent. For a super effective move, it's actually quite weak, but. Meat Cleaver. Ah, that must hurt. That must hurt. Maybe a wrap does some damage. Okay, that deals a lot less, but. We got the trap. And he's gonna have to give me. That shouldn't do too much damage since I'm strong against electricity. Because we're grass. And gets his trap. Perhaps I can drain a lot of damage back in Mega Drain. There we go. It's super effective and ooh, I get all my health back, at least most of it. It's a trap! Again. Now we both got trapped, don't we? But Gets is still trapped and Gets has died. You want Pokemon to wear an eat you want people to wear an eat Pokemon? That's just disgusting. Plus Pokemon aren't yours to eat or wear, we exist for our own reasons. Pretty sick mind you've got Getsis. Anything it. He gave us an Oshawa with a bloody skin. Um Let me see, um I'll call him Skater. Because I'm kinda stuck. Fellow Pokemon, is it true that you're helping reach Pikmo people with a Pikmo, really? People with a message about kindness to other Pokemon? Count me in! Great, let's go! We're almost at the global terminal. I can't wait to share our message with everyone in your nova. I gotta get used to the voices. Look, a little treasure chest! Ah, be careful opening that. Let's see what's in. A set of trading cards was inside. You know what? Oh, cool, trading cards. Wait, these are about us. How is that possible? Don't look a gift Pokemon in the mouth, Slumdog. Pokemon aren't yours to give away, Druggy. You've got... What was the voice for Skater again? You've got a one track, my Pikachu, but we're at the global terminal now. And is that a Joker? It's Ash. Well, Ash has better has happier days, and he's still standing with no help. What are you doing here? You don't belong here at all. I'm here to recapture you. You belong to me. Why did you hate me so much that you want to imprison me back in a tiny Pokeball for the rest of my life? I don't hate you. I just don't care. Have I ever shown an inkling of concern about you one way or the other? I never asked if you wanted to battle other Pokemon or wanted to leave your Pokemon to stretch your life. Like, you've always just been a tool to me. The only thing that matters to me is that I make a lot of money in the Pokemon entertainment industry. I don't want you messing with the minds of children. You really cared about children? You want to teach them respect and comparison? It's not their hearts that concern me, it's their parents' wallets. Gotta catch them all. Ha! Suckers. 
Okay, since I can't, can't start with Pikachu, I actually can't decide what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with Skyrim, because why not? What do we got? A protein shake of tackle water gun look good. I like the protein shake. Oh nom nom. Hold out there actually. Attack up. Defense up. Nice. He's gonna whip me. Well, Skater has a lot of health, so perhaps another protein shake will help. There we go, attack defense up. Bullhog blast. Was that his ouch that, that could hurt? It's super effective, but still barely any damage. Let me use a water gun. <laughs> you even picked a water gun, that's funny. Dang! Super effective, that's a lot of damage. He's gonna... Whoa, was that a bomb? It didn't really work at all, actually. Let me just use another water gun and we're done. And that's Ash. Pokemon are not yours for entertainment, Ash. We exist for our own reasons. But how else can I make boatloads of cash? What about just using human performance in your entertainment, or, I don't know, not focusing so much on fighting? I guess you're right that there are lots of other alternatives. I could do anything. I could try to free them all. And I should die. You've inspired me to start an organization to help spread the match message of compassion. Pokemon ethically treated awesome. Yeah. P-E-T-A. Wow. I love it. Now let's share our message with the world. Hey guys, did you hear about the new group that's working to free Pokemon? They're called Team Plasma. Really? Um. You've won, you've crushed the trainer's resistance and have succeeded in giving him a higher calling. Now share the message to continue helping others. And remember, there's no place in this world for mystery men and exploitation to play. Gay! <laughs> Although I must say, it's a funny attempt. I mean, it was a lot better attempt than the other game was, even though the game is kind of fast forward, and unless you really screw up, you can't really lose. But, yeah, really? Peter, what kind of move was this? What? Why did you use black and white to, to do this? As usual with this kind of videos, I always leave a question to my viewers. What do you think? What did you think about the video in general? I mean, what? I find it a bit stupid, but maybe it's me, maybe someone else loves it. Anyway, I'll leave the link to the game in the description, so if you want to play after watching this and take your own routes, use different moves, I don't even know what you want to do, get knocked out, it's up to you. Just do whatever you want to do. I mean, yeah, this is kind of, I don't even know what to say. I'm just going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video.